So the new line of uh, Citadel brushes came out just about the exact time I needed some brushes because my old ones had just all worn out, um, including several uh, sable brushes I bought from uh, uh, Dick Blick. So these came out and I was really looking forward to these because uh, they're supposed to be good sable brushes and they're not that expensive for, for what they are. And so it's almost exactly three months later now and these are the two brushes I originally bought and I have really really painted the crap out of these guys um, I've painted quite a bit so over that three months you know I've painted all my Thunder Wolves the six Blood Angels bikers the the couple Titans and what else I've gotten uh, 15 demons and I'm sure there's more but that's pretty much what I've you know, I've been painting a lot. You know, I paint all the time, almost every day. And these have been pretty much, other than washes, I, I use a crappy brush for washes. These have been the only brushes I've used. Um, so just even on that, just on the drop pot I'm working on, I showed in my last video, um, all the painting on this, uh, all the chip, all the metal work here, and all the stripes are all done with these brushes as well. And so here I'm going to give, you know, so they've been used and abused. I do wash them every couple of days in the brush soap. If you don't have brush soap, uh, get some. This is, this is probably one of the most common ones you'll see, um, but there's other brush cleaners out there. But you, if you want to spend, if you want your brushes to last at all, even cheap nylon brushes, um, go ahead and clean them up and they will last longer. So. What do I think so far of them? And I have to say, I'm you know, very, very impressed overall with these brushes. Uh, I have not lost anything. They really have not lost any brush bristles at all. They haven't lost any of their point. So they still have a really, really good point on them. Oh, that one had brush soap on it, yucky. See, I need to clean one of these. Note to self, rinse off the brush soap before you put it in your mouth. Oh, that stuff's gross. Um, anyway, so let's just go over here and see um, why, what they're still doing here over uh, three months later. And my one and only real complaint I'm having with these guys. So I'm just layering up stern guard right now. So you can see really good spring back. Uh, the point holds up very well under actual painting. So that's the fine, that's, or I should say the small layer brush, which is pretty much the smallest one they have. I don't count that master class brush or whatever they have for 20 bucks. Um, Painting on camera is a lot harder than it looks. Okay. So they're holding the point well. Now this is the one, the medium layer brush, that I have a little more problems with. And it's not, I don't think it's just because of the brush itself. But uh, let's just go ahead again. It was a really nice point for a while anyway. And it's really good at And it does hold a significantly more larger amount of paint than the um, small brush. Small brush. Now, what does happen over time is that the paint will dry up in the on the brush itself and when it does that the medium layer brush will actually start this point will start to split and become unusable but all it takes for that is just um, rinsing out the brush and you start over from scratch so it's it's kind of annoying um, when doing larger areas I mean doing fine work like this it's not as bad because you're not putting as much paint in the brush but doing larger areas, which is what I would use the medium brush for. I don't use the medium brush necessarily for doing this exact kind of work that I'm doing here. 
And that's only three months. I mean, so hopefully these brushes will last quite a bit longer. But right now, I mean, they're still virtually, you know, they're, they're almost exactly like they were when they were new. So I really don't have any complaints at all about the quality of these brushes and how well they've handled, uh, lived up uh, over time. Great point. I said this is a medium brush uh, or medium layer brush. I would definitely not normally be using this brush for this kind of work. I would use a smaller one. But even at that, uh, there's no issue using this larger brush for this kind of detail work because the point it holds is very nice. So yeah, that's where we're at with these brushes. I would have to say these guys are pretty darn good, um, pretty well made. Uh, they're holding their point. They're not falling apart so far. Um, that's with constant painting, constant washing with the brush soap. You just got to keep them clean, and for the price, I think this is was I think the medium one is six fifty, and the small one is six dollars. Um, I think for that price, I think I, I paid that much for nylon and synthetic brushes before so uh, I think the price point is absolutely amazing for what you get um, and of course they're, they're going to be readily available you don't have to worry about ordering them online you can just run down to your local store and pick them up um, new, uh, so absolutely zero complaints uh, the brush quality seems to be excellent and the longevity as I said I've been constantly painting every day three months with these brushes and um, no quality issues whatsoever. So that's going to be the uh, the review of the of the Citadel brushes. Um, we'll see how long they actually do last. I did pick up another small layer brush because I had some extra gift certificate money. Um, so I have one of these that I have never used of course because I haven't had to because the uh, the one I bought originally the day I bought these the day they were released um, uh, it has, has not given me any trouble at all. So it looks like they definitely need to be washed though tonight when I'm done painting. So that's it for this review. And so Citadel, these black handled Citadel brushes, uh, great, great product.